So in this series of Snap Circuits videos, we're going to look at Projects 329, the principal segment LED, up to Project 340, which is the music meter. And you might already notice that this looks a little different than the previous Snap Circuits videos because the camera is now mounted on one of these little swing arms on the bench. I don't have the tripod in front anymore that I'd kind of have to work around and kind of show you the stuff on the circuit I can now get right here and then you get a nice overhead view of the bench so should make seeing these circuits a lot easier and also for me to work them a, a lot easier as well with the camera now on this swing arm so project 329 is the principle of segment LED and that's what it looks like and this is what it is on the board and in this series of videos, we're pretty much just going to be looking at the seven segment LED for this. So we got our seven segment LED on the board there with our little three volt battery adapter slide switch and a 100 ohm resistor going into its positive feed. The negative goes into connections D, E, and F. So only these segments here will be lit up. So if I turn the slide switch on, our saving segment LED lights up and it lights up with the letter L because again we're only lighting up the bottom segment and the two leftward segments there. So it's pretty simple. Now we're just going to start getting into the ones that deal with all the products. So project 330 display number one. So we're going to reconfigure this and start going through all these projects where it makes numbers. So here we are with project 330, display number one. Basically the same project, but we add another two snap wire and a four on the right side of our seven segment LED so that we can connect points B and C to the negative side of the battery. So we're gonna light up this lower portion here and we're gonna light up this portion here. So we turn it on, it gives us the number one because again, we're only lighting up the rightmost segments of our seven segment LED there with our B and C connections. Now project 331 is display number two so now we want the display to display the number two. So let me connect this so we're going to connect A, B, G, and D. So now if we turn it on, we get the number two because we're lighting up our top, middle, bottom, lower left, and upper right segments of our seven segment LED. And by doing that, it gives us the number two. Now project 332, Incidentally, is now we're going to display the number three. So take all this back off. And we're going to connect, once again, A. Let's move around a bit here. B, G, C, and D. And we power on the circuit this time. We get the number three because we're lighting up our rightmost segments along with our top, middle, and bottom center segments. And that gives us the number three represented on our seven segment LED. Now project 333, or 333. Okay, today now we're displaying the number four. So I'm gonna pull all these back off again. So we connect B, C, F and G. Now with those connections and we turn it on, we now get the number four because we have our two rightmost segments, our center segment, and our upper left seg segment there turned on. So that gives us the number four on our seven segment LED. 
Now project number five. Oh, project 334, as you can see, is displaying the number five. So with that one, we will connect A, F, G, C, and D. I'll turn the circuit on now. And it displays the number five. Because we have our three center segments our lower right and upper left segments all being powered so it gives us a number five on our seven segment LED and then off now project 335 is displaying the number six so I'm pull this all off again and let's see we connect A C D F and G. So we got to do this. And with that, we now get the number six displayed because our bottom, middle, and top center segments, our lower right segment, and our two leftmost segments are powered up. So that gives us the number six on our seven segment LED display back off. Now project 336 we're going to display the number 7 so pull all our two snaps off. So we will connect A, B, and C. So A, B, and C. Power on the circuit. And now we get a number 7. So we got our two rightmost segments and our upper most center segment. That gives us the number seven on our seven segment LED display. Turn it off. And it's in project 337. We're going to display eight. So we're going to connect A through G on there. So pretty much everything. So A, B, C, D, F G Turn it on and now we get the number 8 because we are applying power to all segments of the 7 segment LED except our dot point which you see is left on mark there so it gives us the number 8 on our 7 segment LED display here now so project 338 now we're going to do 9 have it display at number 9 So, connect A, B, C, D, F, and G. So, with this segments, you turn it on, we get the number 9. Because we got our three center segments lit up, our upper leftmost segment, and our two rightmost segments. So they're getting power that gives us the number nine in our seven segment LED display. And the last one here, project 339, just has this displaying the number zero. Obviously you can't display 10 on here because it's a single digit display. It's not a dual digit display. So A, B, C, E and F. Turn it on and now it displays zero because we're lighting all the segments up except for G which is the center segment so it prints out zero on our seven segment LED display. So that's projects 330 through 339. So the last one in this video is 340 which is the music meter. So here we are with Project 340, the music meter. There it is in the book, and here it is on the board. And here we've got our three volt inputs, right through our B6 going through our slide switch, and that feeds our music IC. 
and also feeds our transformer. The output of the music IC goes to the other side of the sh of the short windings here. So this is the longer windings, these are the shorter windings. So it's actually stepping up with the transformer here. The output of the transformer both goes through our variable resistor to our meter, but also to our LED. And because a transformer works with alternating current, this circuit its direct directional current is going back and forth as the music IC is playing because the music IC playing the music through the transformer there is a pulsed DC signal so it allows the transformer to energize and collapse so it creates an AC signal through our LED and meter here and of course our LED is also a diode so the path of current only goes one way out of the transformer here which of course is this way it will try to go this way, but the diode will not allow it. So, we power on the circuit. With our variable resistor at its lowest setting there, you see that our LED is lighting up a little bit there, but also our meter is deflecting up and down as the music plays. Because as the music is playing, the current is changing slightly through there with the pulses that the music I see is putting out. And of course, if we move our variable resistor up, we can make our LED brighter. And of course, we can peg out the meter there. And I turned off the background noise because with the variable resistor all the way up, I want to see if you can hear this. So if you can hear, you can actually hear the music I see playing and it's playing through our meter because our meter uses an electromagnet just like a speaker and just like the electric motor in the set there. And because of that, it's essentially using the meter as a miniature speaker so we can actually hear the music I see signals going through the meter there even while it's also passing through our transformer. So that is how project number 340 works, and that concludes the end of this Snap Circuits video. Again, a fairly short one because of all our LED segments, but also it allows me to try out this overhead view with the swing arm here and see how this works for future videos.